Ampun tuanku, beribu-ribu ampun sembah patik harap diampun. Pepate, you're here. You should really join in on our intro song sometimes. Yeah, yeah. yeah join us. Yay. Have a seat, Pepate. So, how's our skirmish in Manja? It went extremely well. There were no match for our cannons. We had them pinned down as if we had drones on their Afghan caves. Boom, kebabo, <laughs> however, are running a little bit low for our troops. We are only left with half the mushrooms we went with. Refreshing their mushroom supply wouldn't hurt. Half? They've only been gone for two weeks in a three-month skirmish. Are they not rationing at all? Well, what can I say? They really like the mushroom. They're firm yet moist. Yes, firm yet moist. <laughs> Pate, didn't you mention there was a rowdy mushroom trader yesterday? This is perfect! Just confiscate his mushrooms and ship them to Manjong! Boom! I'm so to rescue! I say, my lord, that is a brilliant plan! You're an absolute genius! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Next! Uh, Tuanku, I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, yeah! Bad idea! Uh, yeah, yeah! Make them Russian! What? Why not? Uh, uh, why not? It's a great idea! Yeah, uh, I don't see why not! <laughs> Tuanku, the people cannot love you more. They hear tales of cruelty of other leaders across the straits and feel ever more appreciative of your compassion. You better not be saying that the people only love me because of my lower relative cruelty. <laughs> Tuanku, um, it's not that I feel it's... Uh, there are I just think that there are uh, increasing, there's increasing chatter about people being you know, disgruntled by the tax increases. What? Who are these rebels? These troublemakers. Who? Yes, who? Get the electric chair ready. We'll go Texas on their asses. <laughs> that the, that's not the point I was making. It's, it's not an individual. It's a collective. Well, why should I care? The people can mourn and complain while I'm busy growing our empire and reaching their very pockets. Do you see the new tax plan I passed? It's the best. Tuanku, again, the people love you, and they love the tax plan you created. The one percent like us did, at least. Anyway, they feel pride in the expansion of Melaka and your rules. Victories, victories in Sia, Manjo, and Singapore have all made Melaka a force to be reckoned with. And who did that, huh? Huh? All me, all me. They know your wisdom and might has no boundaries, Tuanku. But I don't think we need to go over raising the taxes again. It could drive traders away to Java and Sia. And we could potentially lose a lot of money. Yeah, that's it. Money. Hmm. I do like money. We can revisit the issue later on then. Tukutil, have the troops in Manjung ration their current provisions while we discuss this. They do have plenty left. Yes, yes. Have they you used shiitake mushrooms there or something? Yes, thank you. Plenty. Left. How's our attack on Linga? <clears throat> our attack on Linga led to a lingering sense of fear among our enemies. <laughs> <laughs> Boom! Tap killing the house! This is great! Everything according to plan. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> there were some downsides though, Tuanku. It is my pain to deliver to you that we lost three battleships in the process. The naval strength almost had us. I just thought I would open up with a pan to lighten up your mood. I'm going to Ah, why do bad things always happen to good people? <sighs> Wait, didn't the Chinese envoy arrive yesterday? We could mention the problems in Linga to them. Make a navy a part of the wedding negotiations. Uh, when is my wedding to the princess again? Oh! Um, 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 really guys? 
You two are in charge of the wedding. It's in two days, Franco. Six days? That's not close enough. Why can't it just be tomorrow? Uh, you know what? I don't want to talk about this. Let's talk about... Rajahman! That slimy scumbag. How are his negotiations going on with Java? Talk about that. There's a big problem. The princess from Java that you intended to marry has been proposed to by Raja Ahmad. The wedding looks sad. They had secret discussions, apparently. See, bad things only ever happen to me. Kutil, have you ever experienced bad luck like this? No, so never, so never. <laughs> from another human being, sir, never. Nope. Mm -hmm. See, Kutil agrees with me. I knew it. Well, just have to sort this out by myself, as always. <laughs> Uh, Twanku, rather than asking for a few votes to get us a few months down the line, maybe we could ask the Chinese to patrol the seas here. It would give them the prestige of presence in the Straits, as well as access to markets and ports, all the while giving us the short-term protection we need in case of retaliation from Ahmad or the Lingalese. That is, um... A brilliant idea! Fantastic! Brilliant! The best idea we've ever heard! We'll request them for help now. Good thing I thought of this. Ahmad has an advantage now with Java on his side. If I ever get my hands on that Princess Margaret, no. Ahmad's already got all that gold and silver in Pahang already. Why can't he just let me have this? What? I need to solve this. Kutil, Takil, leave me in Papate. I need a word. Oh, oh, Tonight, I'm leaving them. <laughs> Tonight, I'm leaving the palace. I have to go somewhere to meet someone. Where are you going? I can't tell you, or anyone. Uh, Tuanku, pretty much everyone knows about your midnight visits to the brothel. So, if that's where you're going, I'm not here to judge. Uh, what? I mean, we saw your transaction history and that was a mess. I didn't even know you could do those things with mops. Well, no, no, don't! No, that, that is not where I'm going! I'm <laughs> You're not gonna go see Raja Ahmad, are you? Don't be daft. I have a plan. But I don't want a single soul knowing about this. So you're going alone? No riders, no guards? Listen, I need to do this. Tell everyone I slept early or something. This is extremely important. It won't take long. Mm, three days at most. This is an order. <coughs> that second is so dumb. No way. Wait. So everyone knows?
Japanese princess, Madretno, in a fortnight. With the Japanese army on his side, he will be unstoppable. I've heard stories of you helping others defeat their enemies. 
So it is this princess that you desire? You want to stop the wedding? Well, yes. No. Um, I just need you to help me suppress him. Should he grow stronger and seek to take over my kingdom? Tell me what you do. Now, now. Is it power that you desire? Or this woman? Well, both of course, I mean. Food and... Can you decide, Tuanku? I can only help you tell me what you really need. Well, the princess would definitely be an added bonus. Her army is one of the most powerful in the Malay Indo Peninsula. And she's really pretty too. But she is just a woman. Won't be so different than my other marriages, I guess. After all, she'll just be like the rest of them. Needy and all, and well, I've had my fair share. Okay, same I do. You know what? Give me the power. I want superhuman strength that can defeat any army of that Ahmad, or anyone else foolish enough to challenge me. You want me to stop another Sultan's army? Put it in there! An all powerful Shana! <laughs> well, of course I am. I take this very seriously. I have a full five star rating with trip advisor. <laughs> <laughs> and the last time I did this was for a prince. Much like this, so. He demanded that I give him the strength of 100 men. And he gave me this for a spell. A spell that would change his fate. What is this? It's a sign, Michael Jackson album. <laughs> what on earth is that? Never mind. You don't understand. Okay. And did he get what he was after? Well, he would consider the whole kingdom bowing down to him in fear. And ten wise mages of death. Well, then it's that. You can give me superhuman strength. And what can you give me? Uh, anything you want, you just name it. I have gold, spices, and men. You can have them in desperate enough, I guess. <laughs> name your price. I don't need gold. I sold my Bitcoin at its peak. So how's that? <laughs> well, what's it you want? Diamonds? A ship? A remodeling of this hideous place of yours? <laughs> you know, it might do you some good to have some actual seats in this place. A cushion for this rock, maybe. What use would a ship be to me when I can transcend the South China Sea and make this right off not of yours right from where I'm standing? And I hate diamonds. Come on. Have we not watched about diamond yet? Well, just tell me what you want then. I'm sure I can give you anything. Well then, give me, um, the blood of fainting virgins. A broad left eye, boy, yes. <laughs> I'll have it sent tomorrow. What the heck? Sheesh, I was only joking. What am I going to do without that blood anyway? I don't know. What are the shamans doing the rituals? You ask for it. Look, give me something that is meaningful. Come on, have you never thought about getting gifts for other people or something? I don't have time for this. Do you know what, Tokapa? I'm starting to think you can't even help me. You're going on and on about what I can give you. But I don't even know if you can give me a superhuman strength. Maybe the rumors are all lies. Maybe you're not so powerful after all. And you're just this fake old woman who makes money by playing tricks on people. Well, guess what, old lady? If you can help me, I'll find someone who can. Why am I wasting my time with an old hag who doesn't know she wants? Hey! Open the door, you old hag! Relax, Goku. All I'm saying is that usually my customers bring me something in advance. There are probably a few things in this life I desire. But right now, I will grant this wish of yours. Superhuman strength? Ah, yes. Superhuman? Is this one of your tricks? Mark my words, old lady. If you try to harm me, prison is no light charge. My dear Goku, I would never commit such an atrocious crime. But I understand your doubt. You are, after all, the Sultan. Many should try to defy you. But rest assured, your wishes will come true soon. Follow me. Drink three sips of water from this well, and superhuman strength will be yours. Three sips of water, and I'll be invincible. <laughs> oh, oh, you old. Oh. Fool! There's not a single drop of water in there! You look where you do not see, Goyku. 
The world has never been dry. It has only been left abandoned by those unwilling to go deep in the first water. Why am I doing this? Must be crazy. Let's see if superhuman strength can make you fly.